There's no doubt about it, the Jaguars have had an up-and-down year so far, but week in and week out, we see consistent player flash in James Robinson. Heading into his second year in the NFL, he's averaging over five yards a carry once again, and today I want to dive into his film and really analyze what he does well, what he brings to this Jaguars offense, and why this consistency from the running back position is so important for the young rookie Trevor Lawrence. So without further ado, let's jump into the film breakdown. Taking a look at this first play, I want to analyze the best part of James Robinson's game, and that's running in between the tackles, running inside zone. So at the snap of the ball here, we're going to see some really nice blocks here from the offensive line, which will create two really nice gaps here, one through the B gap and one through the A gap. The issue is we see the linebacker circled in blue. He's not been picked up yet, so he's free roaming and has the ability to fill either lane here. So instead of James Robinson committing and just picking up a three-yard gain, he's going to manipulate this linebacker with his feet. He's going to press outside, which is going to make this linebacker step up to fill the B gap. Once that linebacker steps up, James Robinson immediately knows that there's nobody left to fill the A gap, so he's going to put his foot in the ground, cut back to a wide open hole. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top, but just keep an eye on how he presses outside to manipulate this defender, which helps create a gaping A gap for him to cut back into. These simple runs may not look flashy on the stat paper being a 6-7 yard type of run, but these are the runs that keep your offense on schedule and keep the chains moving. Jumping into this next play, I want to say on the exact same topic of James Robinson working in between the tackles and his vision and his ability to manipulate linebackers to help create extra space for himself and create bigger runs. So looking pre-snap here, once again, we got another simple inside zone look here by the Jaguars. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see the Titans send a little bit of a stunt here, where we see the front side linebackers shoot to the A gap here. Because of this, this immediately leaves vacated space to the B gap where this backside linebacker is going to have to flow over the top to fill and replace this blitzing linebacker. James Robinson knows this, so he's going to press vertical, squaring his shoulders to the line of scrimmage, and it does just enough to hesitate that backside linebacker for a split second, which allows him to get caught up on the backside double team. And now that he's caught up and everything's walled off to the backside, this B gap begins to part, and now the defense is outgapped, and this is where James Robinson gets out and creates a big play for himself. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top. Just keep an eye on James Robinson's footwork and his body language. Look how he presses vertical, keeps his hips square, and that subtle hesitation holds that backside linebacker, not allowing him to flow over the top to fill that B gap, which creates this explosive play for the Jaguars offense. Now we've seen where James Robinson makes his money at, in between the tackles, manipulating linebackers, creating extra yardage for himself. Now I want to flip gears and look at another aspect of his game, and that's his contact balance and his overall ability to break tackles and his elusiveness in space. So pre-snap here, we're going to be looking at a passing play here. We're going to see that the Jaguars offense, they're running four verts, and we're going to have James Robinson releasing here to the flats as the check down. And defensively, we're going to see the Falcons, they're just dropping to a cover three look here. And to the snap of the ball, we're going to see this Falcons defense get immediate depth here, drop into the vertical routes covering all the deep shots. This allows James Robson being the check down to come wide open and have a ton of room to work in here. We'll see the linebacker diagnosis quickly, driving hard, trying to tackle James Robson short of the sticks. But we see Robson flash that contact balance, be able to run through the arm tackle and turn a five-yard check down into a 20-yard big play for the offense. I'll have to play a role from the top one more time, but this is really valuable for an offense, but also a rookie quarterback. Being able to have a check down player that's not going to just pick up five yards, but possibly break an arm tackle and pick up 20 yards and a first down. It helps prevent those third and medium or third and short distances that a quarterback might need to make a big play for the offense. Being able to have a consistent chain mover type player at the check down position takes a lot of pressure off young quarterbacks. So we've seen James Robinson make his money in between the tackles running inside zone. We've seen him be a dynamic threat out of the backfield. Now let's flip gears and let's take a look at him when he runs out of a gap scheme style. So we see the Jaguars, they're running counter here. And at the snap of the ball, I really want to highlight how this picture becomes immediately bad for this play. We're going to see the guard. He's going to whiff on the guy he's pulling for here. This creates immediate pressure having a linebacker in the backfield meeting James Robinson there. On top of that, we see on the left side of the screen, the safety's already stepping down into the box to fill this running play. Immediately, this looks like it's going to be a negative gain or very minimal gain for the offense here. But once again, this is where we see Robinson's elusiveness. He makes the linebacker miss, makes the safety miss, gets to the second level, picking up what should have been maybe a two-yard gain and turning it into a 10-yard gain. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top, but look at his ability to make it not one, but two guys miss and help keep the chains moving for his offense and help the offense stay on schedule. 
overall, we've seen a lot to like from James Robson. Like I said, he's an efficient runner in between the tackles running inside zone. He's flashed the ability to manipulate second-level defenders to create yardage for himself. He also has the ability to be that viable check-down threat out of the backfield, be able to break out of arm tackles. He's also shown the ability to thrive in gap-style running plays, such as counter, one-back power, duo, whatever it is, he can run any play in the book. But the big thing that's limiting him right now is his big play ability. We saw from the 60-yard run today, one of his only big 40-50 yard plus carry, he got hawked down at the end. He didn't have that second gear to get into the end zone. But that's not the style of that's not the style of runner that James Robinson is. That's not what he's being asked to do. He's asked to be that consistent piece in the offense that can pick up anywhere from four to seven yards per carry and help the offense win the time of possession, but also help relieve and take pressure off the young quarterback of Trevor Lawrence, be able to pick up first downs, make maybe a second and nine be a third and manageable, or maybe even taking a check down on second down and turning into a big first down. Whatever it is, James Robinson is that gritty runner that you want to be running in between the tackles, churning out four to seven yards to help you win the time of possession, help keep the offense on schedule, and help keep the chains moving. Overall, James Robinson does not get enough credit in this Jacksonville Jaguars offense. I think he has been the most consistent piece for this offense. And once that Trevor Lawrence gets his footing down a little bit more and this offense gets a little bit more consistency in the passing game, he will be poised to explode. Anyways, guys, that will wrap it up for the film breakdown. Let me know your thoughts on James Robinson down below. Is he the real deal? Do you think he's a franchise-style running back? Do you guys think that Travis Etienne should take over that workhorse back for the Jaguars come next year? Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.